Hey guys, it's me Hemant. Welcome back to this channel. So guys, in this video, I want to share some valuable tips based on my experience about how to become a great software engineer and excel in your career. So please watch the video till the end. So without further ado, let's get started. The very first and most important thing is mastering the fundamentals. When it comes to coding, it is very important and essential to have a great understanding of data structures and algorithms. But why is that? Why having a great understanding of DSA is required when you talk about coding. So the whole point of this is solving a particular problem in an efficient manner, whether you're talking about time complexity or space complexity. That's why choosing a correct data structures and applying an efficient algorithm to solve a particular problem is essential, right? Eventually we want fast performance, less space. Second point, rather I would say question for you. I'll keep it open for you to explore it further. Can you spot a code smell in existing code or are you introducing any code smells? Do you know about that? If you don't know about code smells, please explore it. Once you introduced a code smell in your code, it is very challenging for you to refactor the code later point of time and for your team. It requires significant effort to fix all these things and it is very risky. It may break your code flow and you may get regressions after refactoring the code. If you have good automations, then probably automations can save you. But still, it requires significant effort. Whenever you are writing code next time, please don't introduce any code smells or at least detect code smells in existing code or try to fix it. If you want me to make a video on this one, I'm happy to help. Please comment it down below. Let's move further. Third point, again, very important. I would like to bring on this table is please make sure you are following good coding practices and a lot of comments you are not getting in the code reviews regarding the coding best practices. Everything is present out there. Some of the coding best practices I would like to give you right away. Please follow solid principles, dry and kiss principles. So whenever you are designing or writing code, make sure the first thing hits or comes in your mind, these principles and practices so that you can apply and execute them in a the right place. Use proper naming conventions for classes, methods, variables, etc. so that it is well readable and maintainable. Any developer comes later on after you, they should be able to understand your code quickly. Next thing is never ever hard code anything in your code. It is not maintainable. Why is that? This question is for you. Please comment it down below. What do you think about that? So these are the few things about coding best practices. List is huge. You can explore that and apply it whenever you are coding next. And trust me, if you are applying all the coding best practices in your code next time, then you'll be making a huge difference for you and your team. And next thing on mastering fundamental is please ensure the code you are merging in your repository, it must have sufficient automations. Now, why automations are important? First of all, it gives clarity to you what exactly you need to develop and what is the expectation. Second point, let's understand by an example. You wrote a complex code without any automations and you merged it in the repository. Let's say you moved to a different project or left the company. Now, new developer is working on the new feature, new enhancements and touching your code. Now, this developer tested the enhanced scenario which he is working on. Every scenario is working fine. He also merged the code. But whatever you build broke because it is very hard to test each and every scenario manually in the complex big project, right? If you would have written the automations at that point of time and the new developer who is working on a new enhancements, whenever he'll be checking in, if any regression causes, then the automation would break and this developer will be getting notified, can fix those test scenarios as well. Got it? So this is very important. The code you are checking, you should have automations. And remember that automations are not only helpful on these scenarios, but to understand a code better in automations, what we usually do? We give the input, we expected some output. So it is also understanding about the features. And you know what? What is the best way of learning? Whatever platform framework or any technologies you are working on, the best way of learning is from the code reviews. How senior engineers are solving particular problem. Maybe you can observe that what exactly they are taking care, how many things they are taking care. You know, you can observe all these things, you can see the pattern. So this is about mastering the fundamentals, guys. I know in fundamentals, a lot of things need to be covered. So moving on to the next section, know your development environment and development tools well. It's very important to have a good understanding about your development environment, how your development environment works, how your IDE works. Then you should be able to solve all the necessary problems which developers usually face during the development. Let's say during the development, you imported everything, everything is working, but unnecessary compile time error is coming because your path is not getting resolved. But we as a developer, we waste a lot of time on solving unnecessary things. So next thing I would say, and I believe in, you should have a great understanding of version control system. If you're a beginner or fresher, 
and you don't know about version control system, then I would highly recommend go and check that out. What is version control system? In market, we have plenty of version control system. I'll name a few, GitHub, Perforce, SVN, and lot many. But I would like to recommend GitHub. So just go to GitHub and whatever program you are writing in your local, make a repository in GitHub and try to check in your program. Just learn how GitHub works. And it is very important in your development career, this will be definitely handy for you. So guys, till this point, we have covered all the coding aspects, how your coding should be, what are the best practices, principles, techniques, platforms, tools, environments, right? It's basically related to coding what exactly you need to do while you are writing code. But this is just a piece of big puzzle in software engineering. There are other important aspects which play a critical role in software engineering, such as architecting the whole project, designing it effectively, how efficiently multiple systems will communicate with each other, which framework or libraries will you use to achieve the best results, how effectively you are planning and applying the design pattern. This architecting or designing becomes more important as you advance in your career and become a senior engineer. However, there's nothing or no one stopping you to learn this architecting and designing things from day one. So it's not necessary you'll be getting all the opportunity in your job, but what you can do, just build your own project, design them end to end, apply all the design patterns and best practices. And trust me, when you try to build a whole solution end to end from front end to DB, all the APIs, different systems, all the caching layer, then you'll be getting to know a lot of problems. Even solving a simple problem or integration problem you'll be start searching and applying it. And that's when the actual learning will happen. In any organization or startup, to achieve our big goal, you know, you have to follow a technique, process, a framework so that you can effectively manage your time and resources. So managing time and resources are very important skills. Let's say we have waterfall model and agile. So usually companies follow agile. So if you are a senior person, it is very important for you. So along with your technical skills, it's very important to focus on your soft skills. These skills will help you to excel in your career in the longer run. So collaboration with multiple stakeholders in any organization is quite important. In software development, we usually communicate with every stakeholders like product owners, UX designers, content team, testing team, performance team, security team, accessibility team, leaders. Therefore, it's very important to have effective communication and influence. So it's better you work on your communication skills and excel in your career. And building relationship, networking, Communicating with others, it's a key skill and you should learn about that. So in a nutshell, in software development, you just don't code. Coding is just a small spec. Along with the coding, designing, talking to stakeholders, building relationship, building that repo is important. It's equally important to document. Along with your coding technical skills and soft skills, it's pretty important to have a documentation skill as well. Every company focuses on documentation. If you're not focusing on it, then please do because leaders are relying on the documentation. So from day one, my advice would be, please focus on the documentation along with all your skills. So now you are good in coding, you are following all the best practices, you are architecting good, you are designing good, and your soft skills are good, you are networking with people, building relationship and that repo. Now, the most important part, when you ship your project, which is debugging skills and solving complex issues in production, and how to reproduce this in local and fix it, all these things matters a lot. And this is very important for customer satisfaction. Debugging skills comes from investigating mind and definitely it's a skill you should learn. And not to mention, if you want to debug better and effectively, you should have a great understanding of the product which you are working and the problem which you are trying to solve. Although there are many points, tips and tricks I would like to share in some other time, but I truly believe what we covered today is the most important thing. According to my experience, if you follow all these things, apply it, I'm sure you'll be excelling in your career. And there are many points I may not be able to cover in this short video, but definitely in future videos on your demand, we can discuss all the things in detail. I genuinely believe you find this video helpful. With that, if you like this video, please don't forget to click on like button. If you're new to this channel or haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.